Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, so I actually really, really, really wanted to comment on this because I had no idea about any of this. I'd heard about it two days ago. It's the whole Taylor Frankie Paul drama incident. And I'm just going to break down exactly what, what I know and what other people know and just give it a bit of a talk because I didn't know about the arrest originally where basically... Taylor Frankie Paul, she has quite a large following over on TikTok. She became really, really big showing her life and all of this with her ex-husband. Now her ex-husband called Tate is somewhat crucial to this little part of the story, or at least he is sort of relevant. But basically they were Mormon swingers and they were Mormon light swingers of what I know. I basically found this out in the Daily Mail original or was it the original article? Anyway, I'll put it up here. You don't engage in the full act, if you know what I mean. And apparently she went too far and they basically split up. And I'm sure there's a lot more to that story, but in a complete nutshell, she's carried on doing TikToks, all of this kind of stuff. I didn't watch her before, so I can't really tell you the, the, the whole depth of what these TikToks entail. Point to make as well is that her and her ex have two kids together. So she very quickly, just a few months after that, got with Dakota, who is the new guy who is, in, who is involved in the story. Now, a little while ago, what actually ended up happening was it made Daily Mail news headlines that basically she had got in a lot of hot water because she got extremely drunk, came back home, they had a massive barney, and um, she ended up throwing a chair that ended up hitting her five-year-old on the head and she then got arrested because of it. And no one knew the ins and outs of what exactly had gone on because there weren't any, there wasn't any video footage. But just recently, the police actually released the full video of what actually happened behind the scenes. And I've got so many thoughts behind this. Hey, what's going on? Oh my gosh. Nothing. She's hammered. First off, she was extremely intoxicated, like extremely intoxicated. I did actually find a video on TikTok, which I'll play for you right now, where she was basically explaining how her last husband was completely teetotal and she had to ask him if she could actually drink towards the end of their marriage because he was really against it, but she didn't drink for the longest time. And I'm not saying this is like an excuse, um, but I'm just saying that if she had gone such a long time without drinking, then it's no wonder why all of a sudden she's literally getting black out and like, spinning out like she may have quit drinking as well because it didn't it didn't go with her like it didn't vibe with her body at all because you know some people just are not meant to drink any alcohol it just sends them off the deep end well that could play a part in it but i did find that quite interesting been wanting to drink and drinking was a, an issue between tate and i because he was like absolutely no that was like a no for him so i you know was clean for most of our marriage and at the very end i started to ask like I just want to be free like can i have a drink here and there and he was like sure so he let me have that she literally had to like ask her ex-husband for permission to drink anyway her new fella name of dakota um apparently doesn't drink either like he really doesn't drink um and he's getting sober i think i think that's what they said as soon as people heard about obviously her throwing the chair and then hitting the kid it she was meant apparently she was meant to throw it at um at at her at her fella but it ended up missing and hitting the girl on the head, leaving this like big egg shaped, obviously absolutely horrific. And the thing is, is that I'm not quite sure why, what was going through her head for her to be doing that around the kids. Apparently she was coming in um, and she was meant to be going to a concert. She was at a friend's party and then Dakota was meant to be going to a concert and then she, Frankie then said oh, oh yeah I'll come along with you but when he then picked her up apparently she was just in absolutely no fit state of mind to actually go to the thing so they ended up coming back home and that is when she absolutely freaked out she started chucking things she started attacking him he then had to basically barricade her in the garage to stop it from happening and then eventually the neighbors um rang the police and the police then turned up the neighbors called in saying they heard a bunch of yelling and, and, screaming. and he was going to a concert and he was like we're not going to the concert now and he came home and and then we're fighting so interesting about this is that they're taking two different statements so they're taking one statement from 
um, taking one statement from Frankie and then, then taking another statement from Dakota, but they're both obviously separating them so that there, does, there isn't any more hubbub happening between them both. And um, the, like she is absolutely out of it. She's slurring her words. She even said that she wet herself because she was so scared. She admits that she was fighting back in retaliation, but apparently um, Dakota had hit her or was trying to attack or something a bit like that. Now, I don't actually think there was, if I remember correctly, on Dakota's story, he was basically just saying that the, the whole that the whole thing was mad and that she was solely attacking him she he did actually get his phone out and there's bits in it where he was actually giving footage because he actually started recording her when she was doing all of this crazy stuff and he then showed it to the police as evidence and then the arrests were made and things now we haven't actually seen that footage adding alcohol to that just like tonight for a prime example like just explodes so it has it all from tonight yeah, dude. I mean, uh, bro, I can't even tell you the stuff that just happened. He hit me in the inside. She was launching those metal chairs at me. Left and right. I mean, put holes in the wall. Like, I was like, I was actually a little bit scared from my life there. And her daughter's right there on the couch. So, I'm freaking out about that. One of the chairs did hit her a little bit. And I'm pretty sure that all of the bits they're blacking out and things, maybe that's just like the state of the house or whatnot. But he gave evidence and then at the very end he did he acted surprised about the fact that she was then going to be arrested um which was you know and the thing is right a lot of people are actually saying a lot of people are actually saying that 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 they're getting weird red flags from dakota just based on how he was in the um how he was in the audio how he didn't really act upset about the whole thing he was like willingly giving evidence and then acted a bit surprised that she'd be taken away he was questioning whether or not this would make the news and things or whatever because she's famous and if i see any sort of signs of violence that i have to act yeah um, um i mean like i even did get like i tried to film some of it just because it was like she was just so bad yeah i'm gonna send like, you i'm gonna send like, you a link um I'm, I'm gonna send you a link that I, I'm gonna need you to upload that. I mean, is this going on uh, on record? It has to go to court. So I mean, it's not. I mean, like, her, will her picture and stuff be plastered and stuff like ours or what? What do you mean? Like on a website and stuff? I mean, for this? No, like it's not like she's gonna make the news. No, is that I was so scared that I peed my pants. Um, he pushed me into it. I I reacted. Sure, I threw it at him. Um, what what about the like all the metal chairs here and like the? Yeah, I threw about it. I threw them on him. Yeah, I was scared. Why? I was scared. About what? Him. I'm the one who my friend, so why am I under arrest? He's going against her. His word against mine. Correct. When she's actually being arrested, she's saying, "Oh, but Dakota wouldn't like that," or something along those lines. Um, she, she's not realizing that actually he's shown her all of this footage. Are we allowed to ask him or is that not allowed? Because what do you mean by asking? Because when he sees this, he's not going to agree to it. So there, there's actually, believe it or not, even though she has literally caused harm to a five-year-old, which is absolutely traumatic and horrible, there are people which are saying that it's a massive red flag from Dakota's half from Dakota's side of the coin. I'm not sure why the kids were awake. I'm not sure why why he didn't get her out of the house sooner. He is literally going around screaming, kick, and bearing in mind the children witnessed all of this. All of this was witnessed. And it's so, so, so sad because growing up in that kind of environment, seeing your own mum act like that and then actually get like, it's weird. It, it's so horrible to even, perceive that kind of thing happening what is even worse about this whole thing is that they are literally carrying on as if absolutely nothing has happened i'll play you or just i'll put them up here because i don't think i can like share the sound but they're basically just play like they're just carrying on as if absolutely nothing had, has happened taking into account all of this and the fact that literally her child has suffered a child has literally got her she literally still will not address it and i just don't understand why why is she not addressing this surely it would just make so much more sense if she'd just come on and be like 
yeah i feel awful for this i mean to my knowledge she still hasn't addressed it and they're just acting as if everything's absolutely fine and we have since i mean she might have addressed it when we very first heard about it but now that we've got all the little details surely she'd address it now and the thing is she's actually got a court date coming up so you can find all this out on like the daily mail i mean i don't believe every single thing the daily mail says so if i hadn't have actually seen the video i would be a little bit like side eye oh. the daily mail um it says but after morton mortensen who is dakota provided cops with video from his cell phone showing the chair hitting the child the charges were upgraded to felony aggravated assault reckless child abuse and domestic violence in the presence of a child two weeks later the salt lake county district attorney charged paul with two counts of third degree felony domestic violence in the presence of a child with injury a class a misdemeanor of child abuse of injury and class b misdemeanor 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 I cannot say this word misdemeanor criminal mischief and also i just thought i'd point out as well that i've seen i've been seeing a couple of tiktoks floating around as well apparently the children are back within the dad's care. Ex-husband has full custody of their children at this time. Tate's girlfriend Bailey commented on a TikTok saying Tate has full custody right now, has to push for that currently. However, we would love for Taylor to have the kids when she's able to. Also, in yesterday's article, I didn't mention this in my video, but Taylor has officially been charged with a felony count of aggravated assault and two felony counts of domestic violence in presence of a child, along with one misdemeanor count each of child abuse and criminal mischief. And Taylor is scheduled to appear in court on March 21st. But actually watching the body cam footage and that, it just paints a really scary picture anyway i just really really wanted to talk about this because um yeah it, it, it interested me i had no idea it even happened i'm really interested i want to know like when did she end up coming back to the house is it, like the repercussions of her and her child i mean like the thing is if a child wasn't involved in this it's obviously a really horrible case of domestic you know it's not a very nice case of domestic violence but the fact that a child is literally caught in all of this and they're supposed to be mormon as well and i don't know the ins and outs of mormon law and all of that i'm not religious so i really can't tell you but i would have thought that there were just even moving on so quickly i would have thought that there was just some sort of mormon law or whatever you want to call it mormon rules um to follow by um, anyway, so that's just what I wanted to say. Have a wonderful day wherever you guys are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.